Heels on my tippies. Yo, say in Gabbana, that's on my tippies. How do you mean Hey y'all, it's your girl Honeydew. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm starting this actually pretty late because it is currently 9.33. I'm literally just about to do like my night skincare routine. I really don't, my hair is like sweated out a little bit, but I'm not even gonna worry about doing it until tomorrow morning because, oh, my bun is fucked up, it's whatever. But your girl actually has like a little online interview tomorrow, which I'm actually really excited about. It's for like a barista cashier position at this uh, black owned bakery that's like 20 minutes away from my house. So I'm actually really excited and I hope I get it because I've, for people who don't know, I'm currently like seven months pregnant, like, like 30 something weeks. I'd be forgetting because I lose track of time. But um, yeah, like, I'm really, really excited for it, and I haven't been able to find, like, a new job because I'm pregnant. Nobody wants to fucking hire me. Sorry if you can hear the water in the back. But, yeah, I'm going to do my skincare while I'm talking. But, yeah, like, is it really hard for me to, like, find another job because nobody wants to hire me because I'm pregnant as if it's a fucking disability? Like, with my, with Coco, my first daughter, she, I worked with her until I was, like, 38 weeks pregnant, literally, with no problem, and I was a... For people who don't know, I'm by trade, I'm a baker, but I basically do everything in like the hospitality industry. So it's been honestly just really hard trying to find a new job with somebody with me telling somebody I can only work for the next couple months, take a break, and then come back. But I'm hoping that because I have looked up the bakery that I'm trying to get this job for, and it's owned by a mom that has children. So I'm hoping that with that being said, that if I'm talking to her and letting her know what's going on, that she's gonna be like encouraging me to wanna work instead of being like, oh, I don't want nobody, I don't wanna hire nobody that's pregnant right now. So I'm really, really happy and excited for that. That's at like 9.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna do like light makeup just so I can like look presentable on the camera. And hopefully your girl gets it because it's not supposed to be like a OD stressful job. Like they're only open from like Wednesday to Saturday. So out of water's hot, child. But yeah, they're only open from like Wednesday to Saturday. So if I'm only working a couple hours a day, like it shouldn't be that difficult type shit. So I'm really, really excited about that. I really don't know what else I have planned for like this week, to be honest, because Coco's dad is in town. So he has her basically for like the whole week so i'm like free during my day so i can do whatever errands i need to run or whatever housework that needs to get done i need to like clean my house still more because like i said in my last video and probably another video before that i'm in the process of deep cleaning my house as well as regularly cleaning my house because i am gonna have my little yaya soon that's what her nickname is gonna be yaya i'm in nesting mode and i want to get a lot of things done in the house before I get like too big to want to do anything but if you do watch my videos i'm really much of a homebody like even before i was pregnant i don't really go outside like that unless it's with my man my best friend or my child to be honest so i want to be back on my zoom and be consistent because realistically i would like to post like every like five days four days type shit and I call these diaries because I don't really, I don't wouldn't consider myself like a vlogger because again, one, I don't really do shit. And I like the concept of diaries more than vlogs because I just turned 25 in June. So having two kids or about to have two kids, especially having daughters, I would like for them to be able to look back on my life and be like, what was mommy doing when she was 25, 26, 27? Like, how did she deal with certain things? What were we doing when we was little type shit? Like, I feel like it'll be a good thing to look back on because I've always been a fan of, like, home videos and stuff like that. So, I think it'll be, like, a really nice thing for me to do. And plus, like, I love watching, like, mom content, cleaning videos, just seeing, like, what people do because you get a lot of transparency on people when you watch them on YouTube. Like, I feel like you get to know like the most basically like intimate parts of their life like people are very very transparent now on youtube instead of it being so like cr not content based in a way like if that makes sense but like filming for the purpose of content and that makes sense like i like watching like house moms 
what's that called? Yeah, like house moms, stay at home moms, shit like that, stay at home wives, doing stuff because I really do like the concept of homemaking, of being a homemaker. So I just be learning like little hacks, like stuff that they do with their kids. It gives me ideas and stuff like that. So I really enjoy watching it. So that's the type of content that I want to do. Yeah, like I, I enjoy it. It's a, it's a nice hobby. And especially me not working this past like basically like two months. You being in the house cooped up, staring at the walls and then your baby, it kind of gets like... If you're a mom, you understand it gets very overstimulating very quick just to be a mom and only a mom. So I like the opportunity to be able to have the camera so that I can do the shit that I like to do. I hope that I can get this job. And I really enjoy being a barista, as weird as that might sound. But like, I actually really, really enjoy it. I like the work of like coffee art and stuff like that. So it would be really, really exciting for me to do. And she's and it's also like an actual bakery. So I really hope that I can branch off and get the opportunity to end up coming back and being like one of her bakers. Because for people who also don't know, I do have an associates in pastry art. So like I actually went to school for this shit for real. So it's not like I don't know how to do it. I've been baking for like four years now since I moved down to Florida. And I enjoy it. Like, I, it's it's my passion. I really, really love it. I want to have my own bakery slash food truck as, like, my own little business. So, to learn from other women doing it, especially women who have children and are able to juggle it, I just want to learn from them. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it will be, like, a really, really good opportunity for me. So, I'm excited to tell her about myself, hear about herself. And hopefully, Big Mama could catch this bag of roomie because I love making money, child. I really, really do. But that's my face done already. I'm about to just put my wrap on my head. And call it a night. I'm just not even giving a fuck about how this bun looks right now, to be honest. And I'll lay, like, my baby hairs down in the morning. Because I know if I'm going to put on makeup, I'm going to end up messing up my hair in some form or fashion. So, I'd rather just do it in the morning. But I still am going to put my scarf on to make sure that everything else stays laid down. And I'm going to put my bonnet on. That is behind me or in front of me, I should say. So, yeah, this is my little check-in for tonight. And then I will holla at y'all in the morning when it's time for me to get ready for this little interview. So, good night, guys. Hey y'all, so it's way later in the day. It's like, let me see what time it is. It's 7.06, no, I guess it, yeah, there you go. 7.06 in the afternoon or evening, whatever you want to call it. Child, I've been stalking my phone all day since that interview to see if I got my second interview for the in-person and your girl just got that text message. So I'm dumb hype. That's going to be on Saturday from 11 to 12. So that'll definitely most likely be a part of this video because it's Wednesday right now. So I think this is going to end up being like a productive week type shit. So I just got that. I'm about to make myself a little Caesar salad in the meantime before I start cooking Echo his dinner. And then um, Coco's dad is going to bring her tomorrow afternoon. So I still have the rest of the night basically and the morning at least to be able to do what I want to do. Echo did the dishes for me earlier and then started cleaning some of Coco and um, Yaya's room. So... All I have to do is like fold clothes and put them in their drawers and stuff like that. Oh my God. I'm so excited about this opportunity, man. This lady, shout out to her name is Nikki. Not her government name, but that's what everybody calls her. Um, But shout out to Nikki for giving me this opportunity because literally when we was on the phone, she literally said pregnant women are an asset. And once she said that, I was like, bro, this is the bitch I need to be talking about. Fun fact, I didn't realize she has four kids. I thought she only had like two. But it's like so, so, so nice. And this is supposed to be like a new location that she's opening up because she does like uh, custom cookies and cakes out of her house. So that's the, her first business. And then her second one will be her actual bakery and the cafe. So I'm really excited. And she basically told me that she does her interviews like um, there's a fucking gnat here. Um, 
she does her interviews like speed dating so there's supposed to be other business owners like that are friends of hers in there and we're supposed to just like basically have a buzzer and go through each person until we reach the end and then i guess then she'll do oh my god this fucking that bro she'll um then i guess hand select hand select them even more of who she wants to actually have on her team or whatever the case may be i'm so excited and i'm so grateful for this opportunity because oh my god i just wanted to get back to work so fucking bad child so yeah i just wanted to check in with y'all about that i'm probably going to end up yeah still folding some clothes for the end of the night before i end up going to sleep and taking a shower and i need to redo my hair because me just being around the house i done sweated all this out i don't know if i'm gonna keep it the same like redo it the same or just do it back or do it high i don't know which one i'm gonna do yet but we'll figure that out either later tonight or tomorrow morning because i don't have to look cute for nobody to be honest so yeah i'm just i'm very proud of myself guys i'm very very proud of myself so yeah i'll check in with y'all later popping y'all it's later in the day as y'all can see i was cleaning earlier well not cleaning i'm um, doing laundry and stuff like that putting up dresses i'm still not done because i have like three more baskets to do but echo went outside and he was craving halal food that i had um gotten from the mall the other day so that's what we're eating right now and we're about to watch the cheetah girls <laughs> with coco so yeah it's been a good day so far to be honest i'm so excited for this like halal food is just like oh my god it reminds me of the bronx to be honest like it's not the same as the one i used to get from the truck but it is so it looks so good so i'm about to chow on this watch this movie with my babies and i'll check in with y'all a little bit later but let me just get this first bite in hold on oh and i just fell Oh, mama! <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. So yeah. I'm literally about to have a conniption because I packed Coco's baby bag for her dad when he had took her like for the last two days or for the last day and my edge brush was in there and that was not in there i want to do my hair well i'm still gonna do my hair but like bro where the fuck is my edge brush let's get it together and i need to get this together because ugh, i'm not even gonna wash my hair because i really just don't care to like i don't have the energy i'm just gonna brush this bitch up i might just keep the same part in my hair to be honest but like slick it back more up a little bit just so i can do something i literally don't judge me i literally have the same makeup on i had on yesterday didn't wash my face today again didn't really care to 
I've been trying to worry about cleaning my house since Coco hasn't been in, like, hasn't been home. Like, she wasn't home last night and stuff like that. So, I just <sighs> cleaned and then I just ended up falling the fuck asleep. But tonight, I have to take me a nice good shower, do my skincare, make sure my hair is done. Because I have this interview on Saturday. I have the second part of my interview on Saturday. So, I don't really want to have to worry about my hair tomorrow. Because I know tomorrow's going to, like, be... A little bit more of an emotional day for me because in full transparency well you hear me say echo and then you hear me say coco's dad so coco's dad and echo are not the same person they kind of they are but they're not so coco's biological dad um isn't really in the picture like that not like on some like deadbeat dad shit i guess but um i'm gonna go on with my gold styler gel and then my block of gem just in case but yeah, I met her father when I was still living in New York and he went to the army and we had a little our little relationship and stuff like that. I got pregnant and had her and our relationship ended like I gave birth to her. May of 2022 and I think we separated that August slash September we were together for like two and a half almost three years he's cool people or whatever like there's no I don't have like qualms my baby dad like he don't bother me I don't really bother him but because he is in the army he's moved around a lot in the past um four years because he joined in 2020 and, um, yeah, so he hasn't really been, like, around like that. And he currently lives in Tennessee, which is dumb far. He drives down here every time he has come. And it takes him, like, 10 or 11 hours. So it's not something that's, like, super ideal to do, I guess. So, yeah, he's only seen her. This is his fourth time coming down to see her since she's been born which sounds crazy i think it is but hey i guess that's the difference between being a mom and being a dad but yeah so that's that on that and then i met echo last year yeah because we're hitting our one year anniversary so yeah i met him august of last year started dating and stuff like that relationship escalated a lot faster than we both thought but I'm really, really happy with him. He's really, really happy with me. I'm glad that, like, we're having an uh, actual family together. And he's been there for every moment that her dad has in. So he's created a really big impact and change in her life and my life. So, yeah, that's a little bit about me, I guess. But it's going to be emotional for me over this weekend because I'm not used to co-parenting. Like, it's... I haven't had to do it honestly like he just comes visit when he can which has been a couple of times like once every year and a half no like once every I guess, yeah like once every year and a half type shit at, at, at this point um so he's gonna be taking her to Orlando to see his family tomorrow and won't be back until earliest she's been doing really good with him so I think it's going to last until Wednesday. So that would be Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then he would bring her back Wednesday. I've never been apart from my daughter. Like, never. Unless she's with my mom. Honest to fucking God. Besides that, I've never had to be apart from her. So it's kind of like my mommy instincts are going in. And it's like... Making me very primal and protective over her. Like, I know he's not going to do nothing to harm her. But, like, shit happens. Kids get hurt still. And it's just, like, again, something I'm not used to. So, like, if anybody who's watching this video is a person, man or woman, who co-parents, how the fuck do y'all do this, bro? Not, like, how do y'all do this, but, like, how do you get your feelings past it in a way? Like, how do you learn to trust the other parent when... They're just now starting to learn how to be a parent, if that makes sense. Like, Coco turns three next May. That's not that far away. So, this is like my little baby. I don't want nothing to happen to her, and I'm not there, you know? But 
I have to trust the process. I have to trust him to be able to do the right thing. So, yeah. But besides that, I'm just trying to focus on my interview and the house so that I don't have to... I said I was going to do this high, and I don't know how high I'm going to end up actually doing this for real. But, yeah. Just trying to stay positive. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm just trying to stay positive and level-headed about it and just trust the process. As well as making sure that it doesn't get me into a mode where I'm not going to be productive in the house. Because at the end of the day, shit still has to get done. You know what I'm saying? Mom is just one of the, as my, as my mother says, mom is just one of the many hats that I wear. Most important hat, but it's just one of the many. I said I was going to do this high, and this is really not as high as I wanted it to be. I feel like my head is such an awkward fucking shape that not all styles look flattering on me. I'm just going to leave it like this. In this position and see how I feel because I could always change it tomorrow because that's what I was going to say. I want my hair done now so that I don't have to worry about it for the next day. And then on Saturday, I could just worry about like picking up my outfit, having a nice slow morning, doing my makeup, and like getting my mental together. Because again, I haven't, I haven't had it been on an interview in like fucking months. So we're taking baby steps all the way. But this looks pretty slick. I just have to make sure my baby hairs are done right. And then I just have a the same piece of Marley hair that I used when I had my low slick back. And I have a ponytail holder already wrapped up to it. I just use this as the base because I like my buns to be big, like volume. So I'm just going to wrap this around this hoe. And then I do want to do a ponytail on myself soon. Not for nothing. Because I miss having a ponytail. Okay, there we go. That looks a lot better. Yeah. Okay, but that looks way better. Okay, cool. So now I just have to do my baby hairs the best of my ability with this big ass brush. Let me just map these brushes out. This is not really coming out the way I wanted to, to be honest. Like, I like the hardness. You like, I feel like every girl knows that. Like, an edge brush is not good until it's hard as shit. Like, Obviously, you have to clean it after a while, but, like, the bristles of it being tougher makes the actual hairs lay down. Like, I feel like this is making my hair curl up, and I'm not fucking with it. But I am also super particular about my hair. Like, does it always look great? Fuck no. But, like, I'm really particular about how I, like, would rather step out the house type shit. Especially if I'm, like, trying to look good whatever so this is what we're working with i'm just gonna end up tying down my hair and putting my shower cap on hopefully that looked okay from the back because i can't see like the full back of my hair but i'll just ask my man but you see this is already curling i'll just fix it tomorrow worst case scenario but yeah i'm gonna take me a good nice shower i think i want to do like my coconut routine tonight because i did my mango the last time i took a shower it's just comfort, like coconut is like my comfort smell. Like I love smelling like coconut. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use in my shower. Because once I hop in this bitch, okay. Once I hop in this bitch, I'm gonna do my skincare. Wash my body, put on my little matching set and go to sleep because I'm tired. But um, this is what I use. So. I'm gonna scrub my body today, so I'm gonna use my Coconut Colado Tree Hut Scrub. I really, really like these Method Body um, body washes. I've gotten a difference of opinion, but for me and my skin, I really, really like them. But I go in with both of these. I go in the, with the Coconut and Rice Milk one. And then I also go in with the Coconut Hydrating one. So I use that as my actual body wash. For my intimates, if I'm not using the Dove uh, Baby Unscented one, I usually go in with the Dr. Bronner's Organic Baby Soap. I go in with that. And then when I get out the shower, I go in with the 
Today I'm gonna use this one. This is the Jergens Hydrating Coconut um, Body Lotion. So I go in with this. I go in with my Bath and Body Works Tahini Dream as a body spray. And then I also use this for my feet with like, if you have like achy feet during the night, if you're pregnant, if you're not pregnant, if you're a worker all the time, this is really hydrating. And I also do like the fact that it has Epsom salt in it because especially if you put this on and like those therapeutic socks, they really, really help the next morning to me with the inflammation that you get from your feet. But this is the Dr. Teal's foot cream with Epsom salt. And it actually smells like coconut and shea butter. So yeah, I really, really like this. I will most likely holla at y'all tomorrow morning because like i said i'm tired and i've been rambling for my camera says 18 minutes and i know i'm gonna have to cut this and edit this before i go to sleep just because i don't like saving all my footage at one time to then have to edit for like a fucking hour and a half i'd rather edit for half an hour every day and then do it like this because this is supposed to be a week and i started on tuesday so that means i have to end this by monday or tuesday and it's only thursday so we have a lot to do even before we go to sleep so i'll check in with y'all in the morning And then can I get a sunrise sunset? Okay. And that'll be it. Thank you. We are back in the house. <clears throat> this is how my makeup ended up turning out. And then I couldn't find the dress that I was looking for, so I ended up just putting on this like black um tank top that I got from Old Navy and then I have my Juicy Couture straight leg like yoga pants on and then my little Birkenstocks and I just threw a little black bag over it but I really liked how it turned out the interview was like really really nice it was like a group interview thing so everybody was sitting with like another person because it was only me and four other girls so it was five of us in total so it was two pairs and then one single girl but um it went really really nice she liked the fact that i was um experiencing baking as well so i could work in the front and the back but she told us that we would all hear from her by the end of the day but in my head i got the job because like why not if that makes sense like the conversations were good all the way we did like um speed dating interviews it was with her the owner her husband and then her mom which i'm assuming they also help her with her business and stuff like that so it was really cool the location is gonna be brand new so like i love the fact that i'm gonna be working in like a brand new environment but yeah so in my head i got the jobs i just can't wait to hear back from her and stuff like that and i'm excited to really start and the uniform looks simple too they would just give us a t-shirt and then we could just wear jeans or like leggings pants whatever as long as they're like work appropriate and then i'm assuming like sneakers or crocs so good enough for me i can wear my makeup i can have my nails done all that stuff so i'm really excited and then echo got us some tropical smoothie I got the Bahama Mama. That's the one I usually get. For the rest of the day, I really just have planned for um continuing to clean and organize. And tomorrow's Sunday, so I might leave some stuff for like a Sunday reset type shit. But I do want to keep doing the baby's clothes. For the rest of my laundry. I got to wipe down the bathroom and stuff like that. Knock out the rest of the dishes. I want to, especially because Coco's not home, even though I miss my baby so much. I can actually do my floors and let them dry without toddler footprints all over my floor after I just cleaned them. So I'll be able to do that. And then I also wanted to rearrange the baby's rooms because the way I have Coco's toddler bed, I say a toddler bed, but she's huge. So she's like already three and a half feet tall. So I, Coco has a toddler's bed. I mean, not a toddler's bed, a twin size um, bed. So the way I have her twin size bed and then um, Yaya's crib, like, I want them to be parallel to each other instead because I need to be able to fit that rack in their bedroom that has all their dresses on there and stuff like that. So I'm going to end up like switching over the bedroom this way and having the beds lean on this side parallel, put their rug in the middle, put up their dresser, put up their um, dresses. And then I got these shelves from Walmart uh, like a minute ago because I haven't even started the project yet. But and I also have spray paint that I wanted to spray the spray paint them lilac because they're black shelves and then put them up on the wall so I can put all their books and stuff like that. So that's also another project that I'm going to do. And again, I'm not ending this video until like 
Monday or Tuesday, so I should have time to be able to like film all that and add that in there and stuff like that because this is again basically just like a productive week type shit of all the things that I needed to do and any nesting things that I wanted to do. So yeah, I'll end up checking in with y'all probably later tonight when I end up doing like my skincare and stuff like that. And besides that, you'll probably just see clips of me, like a montage of me like cleaning and organizing and stuff like that. So I'll catch y'all later. It's already the afternoon like it's already what 4 30. i low-key feel like i do shit today but you know when you like when you procrastinate on a project that you've been procrastinating on for mad long and when you finally get that project done to then start a new project you still feel like you ain't do shit that's me right now because for a long period of the time um i used coco's room as a storage room because 
when I moved in this duplex, she was... That was actually before she was one. Yeah, because she turned her first birthday in this house. So she didn't sleep in her own room, respectfully. Like, she slept in the bed with me. So the majority of the time that I've had this other bedroom, it's literally just been a storage space for all the shit that I don't want to fucking deal with. I just stick it in her room, to be honest. So I debunked, I mean, decluttered a lot of her fucking clothes. And now I have a whole bin of clothes that I can use as hand-me-downs for Yaya. Like any garbage that was in here like i literally had two full boxes of baking stuff that half that shit was garbage because either the things were un were, were opened or people got into a closet and started ripping up some of my little tags or thank you little stickers or whatever the case may be so i just got rid of like two yeah like two bags of lawn i mean two bags of garbage i had to throw away a high chair that's no longer in use so i'm gonna get a new one for the baby shower anyways for kaya so um it doesn't really matter to me um and the really the only part that I have left is like moving their shit around to be honest because you see how like this bed is this bed is this way and then this crib is that way I want both of them to be on this side because I also have her their dresser right there don't mind the garbage can and don't mind that dog it's <laughs> her great grandmother had gotten her this it's a speaker and a bulldog and it's supposed to be helping her not to be scared of animals. Does it work? No, not really. Because if Coco sees a dog in real life, she'll start fucking hollering. But it's the thought that counts. So love that for her. But yeah, I'm going to finish decluttering like the couple. I have like a couple of these boxes still in her room that I don't know what the hell is in there. So I have to do that. But I'm going to worry about doing the floors and rearranging the crib and Coco's twin size bed so I can see how this room is looking because I still have to fit that rack in here for all their dresses and stuff like that and this is actually a pretty small bedroom but I only live in a two bedroom duplex so like I'm working with the fuck I have I'm also debating whether I should keep this this right here or put it up on her wall but I had painted this when I was pregnant with Coco I really really like it and it matches the walls. Also, one thing I fucking hate about this room or like this house period is that like all the rooms besides the bedrooms are white. And then these are like this grayish blue color, which is kind of hard when you have like a girl's room that you want to make like purple and pink and yellow and shit like that. But it is what it is I'm working with. That's why I have this gray and then uh, yeah, that's crib is gray. So that's that on that. But yeah, I'm about to like switch this shit around. And then start a new project because I still have to like wipe down my bathroom. And depending on how late I finish, child, I need me a little self-care night because my back hurts. My feet hurt. I need to put on a face mask tonight. Like I need to do something to make me feel better. And Coco's still not coming home until Wednesday. It's Monday right now because whatever I filmed yesterday, lost that shit. So happy Sunday reset. Um, But yeah, I'm about to get me a snack. Cause I'm hungry and I'm like losing my marbles. And if I take a nap now, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning. I kid you the fuck not. So I'm going to try to push through this and I'll be back when this room looks a little bit better than it should. So yeah. Baby, we took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town. Okay, y'all. So this is the progress that I made. So this is going to now be Coco's little play area. 
Her bed is gonna be sitting on this side. And then I have Yaya's crib on this side with their dresser over here. I still obviously have to like declutter all of this. I have to still go through those boxes and then like get rid of those random like clothes on top of there and stuff like that. But I think so far so good. And then I still wanna do the little project with the bookshelves on this wall so I can have their books over here. And then I'm probably gonna get some stickers or decals to go on their walls over here. And then I still have this empty wall over here I could do something with. I do have some of this stuff over here, so I might just keep it animal themed. But yeah, and then like find somewhere for her little flowers and stuff like that. But yeah, I think so far so good for a small ass room. I think fitting a toddler and a newborn will be perfect in here. Cause realistically, Yaya's only gonna use this crib during the day when she takes naps with Coco. And then during the night, I'm gonna have another crib in our bedroom for that. But yeah, so far so good. I'm dumb tired. <laughs> it's time for our little self care pamper night. I also wanted to wrap up this video because I realized this video is like when I'm editing it, it's almost an hour long already. And this is the longest video I've ever done. So today's Monday. I started last Tuesday. So I want to start filming another video for tomorrow as far as the week. And yeah, I really just want to wrap it up with a self-care because I haven't done it in a couple days. And <coughs> fuck, I really need it. And especially for my hair because this shit looks crazy and it feels not dry but i have so much product in my hair that i need to wash my hair tonight anyways so i figured i'd do a hair mask on my hair a face mask and stuff like that I take myself a really good shower because i'll just take like if I, my back still hurts i'll just take a bath in the morning like just to soak and stuff like that but as far as my hair mask i basically tweak my little deep conditioner hair mask situation so I'm going to first start going in with the African's Best Deep Conditioner. I have my little bowl right here. So I'm just going to add that in there. Pretty sound. So yeah, I'm going to add that in there. I'm going to add in this Urban Hydration Honey and Deep Conditioner. In that bitch. There it goes. So I just add a couple of globs of that in there. I'm just do one more glob. There it goes. I want more of like a protein kind of treatment tonight. So my key ingredients that I always use and I've been using since I was little and my mama used to put hair mask in my hair. I'm going to add in mayonnaise. A good amount and then I'm also going to be adding in an egg because who doesn't love food in their hair so this is how it's looking so far and then I'm gonna add in a little bit because I don't want it to be too runny but this is the DIY herbal oil that I made a couple of videos ago but it has like carrot oil tea tree oil um mint rosemary Let's add a little bit, like, that much. Yeah, coconut oil, like, rosemary, mint, um, sage. There's a bunch of shit in here. Olive oil, all that stuff. So I'm just going to take my little bowl and just mix it up. And then in the meantime, while I usually try to let this... This, I don't let it sit hair my hair overnight for the pure fact that it has the mayonnaise and the egg in it. So, like, I don't want to be sleeping with that in my hair. But I usually keep it in for at least 30 to an hour, depending on what I'm doing in the meantime. But I'm only going to keep it in probably for like half an hour because I want to put on my Aztec and my avocado mask tonight. And I want to do all that before I actually hop in the shower. So this is like the consistency that it is. Usually when I add in like my other hair mask that I actually ran out of, which is like the three minute Miracle Curls by Ozzy. It's a little bit thicker, but I don't mind it being a little bit more runny because I usually just put on a shower cap anyways, like one of these like little clear ones to do it. So yeah, that's how the consistency looks after the fact. It is a bit runny, but I literally just start applying this in my hair and I really try to focus on the ends, especially after I um, combed out my locks. I want to take really, really good care of my natural hair. Oh my God, that just went down my back. 
a good thing this is like one of my cleaning shirts because as you can see it's like so stained in like random places that i haven't been able to get out of so yeah this is the perfect shirt for this and i literally just slapped this all over i massage it into my scalp i make sure i get my hairline my baby hairs and stuff like that and this is like especially because like the mayonnaise and the egg is cold it feels so good on my scalp like so so good but I feel like doing this has always made my hair stronger and thicker, especially adding the mayonnaise and the eggs. But I really would only do this ideally. I do it after every like protective style, if that makes sense. So if I'm keeping my hair up for like a week to two before my wash days, I like to put this in, which this is another video that I really want to do is like my wash routine. But I have to make sure I have all like my products in stock in my house to do that first. Because, again, I just combed out my locks not too long ago. So, I really haven't re-upped on all my actual hair products. Because I'm, like, relearning my hair. Because it is a lot thicker, surprisingly, than how I had it before. But I also have my hair locked up for, like, six or seven months. So, of course, I'm seeing a lot of growth that wasn't there before. And I'm even surprised that I was even able to retain, like, the majority of the hair that I have on my head. Because I swore I was going to go bald. Because I was really contemplating whether I just wanted to comb out my hair or if I wanted to just cut it all off again. But I've literally went bald, like like big chop, like, like I only had this much hair in my head about like four times in the past. No, I think five times actually since like 2019. I really want to get out the habit of just cutting my hair off when I feel like I'm having a midlife crisis. But you see how my hair is like already reverting back to it being curly? I really, really like it. And it's so moisturizing. Like, do you just, do you see that? Oh, I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna do this, my Aztec mask, my sheet mask, and take myself a really good shower. And I'm gonna show you guys what I use for my, I think it was earlier in this video, I mentioned that I have like a mango routine and a coconut routine. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use to smell like mangoes. Cause those are like my two favorite smells that I feel like blend in with like my, what is it called? Like your, I forgot what your natural smell is called, but yeah. When you naturally sweat and how your skin actually smells, I feel like that matches really good with coconut and mango. So I have all that in my hair. And then I'm going to rinse my hands off really quick. And just start putting, I mean, I'll start putting, put my shower cap on and then we can start doing our little face mask because I am going to end up doing like another, I guess, protective style. But I'm really just going to do like a high bun and use the same Marley hair that I used earlier to make my slip back because I use hair until I can't use it no more. Just to be able to get as much use as I can out of it. I'm just gonna double bag it so I don't get no drippings. But yeah, you can sit under the dryer if you want to. I don't have a dryer anymore, so we just let it do what it do. I don't feel like, not that it doesn't make that much of a difference, but if you don't have a dryer, it's not like the end of the world. Like you're still gonna get good results from it as long as you're leaving it in as a leave-in like or a deep conditioner. So that's that, I'll wash this bowl out in a second. And then, like I said, I'm going to go in with my Aztec mask. And I really, really love this stuff. I feel like me being consistent and me using the same products consistently have made a really, really big difference in my skin. Because all the pregnancy hormones you go through, it could really, like, fuck up your skin bad. Like, not, in a, not like, fuck up your skin, but it's like, again, you have such more hormonal... Um, breakouts that it's kind of like hard to keep up with skin that's constantly changing and my light just went out that's so embarrassing child give me one second okay we're back in business that was mad ghetto like i'm having problems with the outlet that's in my bathroom and i don't understand why it'll randomly like cut off and i have to like reset the little button shit like the little outlet itself but yeah i'm about to just put this mask on 
But no, what I was saying, yeah, so I feel like me using the con the same products have made a big difference as far as the consistency of my skin because I'm trying to use as minimal products as I can. And then I'm just using my apple cider vinegar. The best one to use is the one with the mother in it by, I think it's like uh, Dr. Bragg's. I think that's how you say it. But I have the Great Valley one for right now because last time I went to the store, they only had like the citric one and I just like the regular apple cider vinegar for my mask this was too much vinegar and not enough of the actual mask so let's fix that there we go so yeah i'm using that one and then for my avocado mask i've showed these on here before but for people who don't know i got these at ross um these are the k beauty nourishing avocado facial sheet masks they're five dollars and you get seven of these masks because it comes with five but then it says you get two free so you're really getting seven for five dollars i really really like these to be honest really really do i keep them in the fridge i have one in my fridge right now that i'm gonna use after i use the um aztec mask because i just feel like it just cools my skin down a lot more so yeah this is what i'm gonna use after the fact but for right now we're just gonna use this aztec and i'm really only focusing on the bottom half of my skin because that's like my most problematic areas but i love this stuff i'm gonna keep this on my face for like 15 minutes and i'm gonna just set a little timer on it wash this off and then put on my sheet mask for another 15 minutes and that'll be like the half an hour, 35 minutes that my hair needs to soak in all this nutrients from my little concoction. And then I'm going to jump in the shower and then I'll do my hair on camera. And then take my little butt to sleep. Because tomorrow's Tuesday. So happy Tuesday, guys. Or happy early Tuesday. It's been a pretty productive week. I don't think I filmed a lot of the productiveness that I did because I was forgetting I was filming the majority of the time. So it was really just me rambling the fuck on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far and have stayed tuned up until what I'm saying right now. Because nesting is like a fucking process and I'm 33 weeks pregnant. So it can get very exhausting very quickly. But I'm glad I've been able to push through it, to be honest. Oh, also, fucking fail on that job shit. Why the fuck did I... I didn't even... I forgot to mention that. But, yeah, on earlier in the video, or earlier this week, I had an interview, with really two interviews for this job. Did everything good, had a good conversation, all that stuff. She's going to hit me back up and say, oh, well, we feel like we have other candidates that will best fit our qualifications. And I'm like, out of the girls that I was with, not for nothing, but like I was the most experienced. And that's not even on a cocky shit. It's literally like, what the fuck it is. I was the only one who had a degree in baking. I had the most experience in being a barista slash cashier. So in my head, I was like, if the reason you're not gonna hire me is because I'm only gonna be working for like the next six weeks and then coming back, y'all should have never even called me for the first interview in the first place because I been said from the first interview that I was pregnant. So like, y'all basically just got my hopes up for no reason, but. I'm trying not to let that, like, get me down or whatever the case may be. But that was just, like, more of annoying than disappointing, if that makes sense. Because I was actually, like, really excited about the opportunity. Like, I really wanted to start going back to work. But it's just looking like it's not in the cards. So I'm not going to keep fighting the universe for something that keeps telling me that, like, girl, just stay home. Nest. You didn't get the you didn't get the chance to do it the first time when you had Coco. So now that you have Yaya, you have the time to be able to get the rest you need before you actually have a baby. Because once that baby drops, girl, you get no sleep at all. You get no sleep. And it's just because of the fact that you, you're learning your newborn and your newborn is learning you. It's a long process. So I'm still very appreciative of the fact that I have my own four walls. Bills are getting paid and I don't really need it. But it was just really a big want. Especially for someone who's been working since they was 14. So that's literally a little bit over 10 years of my life that I've been constantly working. But again, it's okay. It's all right. Shit's going to get still get done regardless. But yeah, so I'm going to let my Aztec mask um, sit on my face. Let me show you guys my little mango stuff. And then I'll end up coming back when I put on my other sheet mask. And getting out the shower and stuff like that. But... I'm not going to scrub my body today because I don't feel like it's necessary. 
So this is like a used one. Not like a used one, but like I've been using it. This is the bar version of this. So this is the Caress Mango and Almond Oil Body Wash. I go in with the bar soap first and then I go in with this body wash. And then on top of that, to layer on the mango, I also go in with the Dove Glowing Mango and Almond Butters body wash. And then when I get out the shower for fragrance, I feel like what really pairs good with the mango is the Bath and Body Works Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. That's this. My best friend got this for me for my birthday. And it honestly just smells like like mango banana like very and passion fruity like it just smells very fruity like it just pairs really good with that so that's what i like to use as far as like my mango routine and then i use the same lotion for my feet and then i just use whatever deodorant that i have like near me because i have like three or four of them um so yeah that's what i use as far as like my body care and then i go in with the same uh baby soap for my intimates so yeah, that's that done. I'm gonna come back when I to show you guys the actual mask itself, like the fake, like the sheet mask, and then I'll come back again when I get out the shower to do my hair. And we're back. So it's been already 15 minutes. Let me turn my YouTube video off. Um, I still can't believe that McKenna Walker really be posting like I just I'm watching her video now and it's four and a half hours long. And don't get me wrong, I love my sister. It's just that it's crazy to me that she sits there and edits four hours of footage when I'm complaining about an hour. Goodness gracious. But as you can see, my face is really soft, but at least my face is really red. So I'm going to go in with my mask. And I actually forgot that I had these little lip masks that my, also my best friend got me at some point in time, some holiday. Um, These are the Kazo Beauty Vitamin E and Berry Smoothing Lip Mask. So I'm going to throw on one of those as well. I'm actually so excited to put this one on my face right now because of the pure fact that my face is like hot <laughs> and it gets a little irritated from the like obviously it being like a what is it called like a purifying mask so your face can get irritated really quickly but it doesn't get irritated in a bad way it's just that my skin is super sensitive so it gets raw really fast but I'm so excited to put this on because this is about to feel so good. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend these for people who are on a budget but want some good skincare. Oh my goodness, that feels so good. And I took my glasses off, so let me use this as a mirror. Oh, this feels so nice. So yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it tells you to put to leave it on 10 to 20 minutes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do while I watch some TV with my man. And decompress before I take this good shower. I'm really debating whether I want to do my hair tonight, but I'm just going to say fuck it and do it so that I don't have to worry about it for like the rest of the week. Because when I do my little ponytails and my little slick backs, it usually lasts me five to seven days. Which is the plan. So I'm going to put that on. And then going in with my little lip mask. And then I'll come back again when it's time for me to do my hair. And we can wrap up this little video. Alright y'all, we are at the finish line. I just got out the shower, put on all my lotions and potions and all that stuff. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna put on my any of my serums or anything like that tonight because my skin feels really soft and hydrated. So I'm gonna just leave it alone like that. And the only thing left we have to do is our hair. So this is how my hair looks out the shower. I did um, co-wash my hair. I didn't feel like my hair was that dirty after I took out the... Um, deep conditioner so i just co-wash my hair with conditioner and yeah i'm about to do my little bun and wrap up this video i'm gonna go in with my eco styler argan oil version and then a little bit of my got to be glue spray just to like spray down the front of my hair but yeah we're gonna brush back our hair this is like the simplest 
most easy way I can get my hair done without putting like a whole bundle in my hair type shit. So I appreciate that. I usually just flip my hair upside down for this part and just brush it all the way up. If I was doing like a natural style, like um, leaving my hair out in a puff, I will part it into two, but because I'm wrapping a bun around it, I can I know I can get it slick enough to just get it into one whole ponytail. I'm gonna go in with my hard brush and my argan oil. That's my man, even though he's in the other room. And I am very generous with this gel because this gel is really soft on my hair. Like it's not like got to be glue. So I can put a lot on it because I need a lot. But I just go around the perimeters, make sure it's saturated. Going in with my hard brush. I'm just gonna slick all this back. Oh guys, that shower felt so good. Like my body hurts so bad. I feel like I'm starting to get my water retention and it's weird because with Coco, I didn't have any water retention until after I gave birth to her. So I'm definitely feeling different symptoms during this pregnancy. I'm going to go in with a double hair ties. Just put this up in a bun. And tie it as tight as I can. Oh goodness. Boop like that. If I really wanted to, I could like leave it like that, but I don't know. I like adding fake hair to shit. That's just me. Oh my god, that is so slick back. And this is exactly why I do baby hairs. Because do you guys see how big my fucking forehead is? Mega mind who, ho? I couldn't do it. Yeah, I need my baby hairs to make, like, to frame my face. I'm just gonna make sure all that is slick on the sides. And like I did with my slick back i'm literally just going to keep my hair like that and use this as the base because i like my buns to be big I'm using the same marley hair that i was using before that already has the hair tie on it i'm gonna make a little bun and wrap this around twice let me check this mirror real quick I try to cover this part first like that and just start wrapping this around because I want like a little secretary bun just like that boom and then bring down my baby hairs Go again with a little bit of that equal styler and just slick these girls back then do the other side but yeah this hairstyle literally takes me as you can see like not even 10 minutes to do because i've been doing it for so many years so these are really just like my go-to styles where i can like look put together but not have to really do too much work and then I don't have to worry about refreshing my curls every day because the bun is not my hair. I'm always struggling with this like one piece of hair that likes to curl up. But this part is just gonna curl and I really don't care. But I also just take a little bit of hair out on the sides just for like my little swoopity swoops. Not a lot, just a little bit, because I just like my little, my little curls at the end. I'm gonna leave it like that, because again, I really don't have nowhere to go, as far as I know, until like Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, tomorrow, Wednesday. 
and I just spray that part with gossipy glue oh yeah because I have my prenatal appointment on Thursday matter of fact so this is gonna be the hairstyle for the week but yeah this is how it looks if you like it I love it this is the hair done shower done I've done a lot of cleaning this week a lot of nesting I still have a decent amount to go but that's just because I feel like in nesting you want to do the same thing over and over and over again just to make sure that it's perfect I don't know if it's a pregnant girl thing or what but that's just how I feel like nesting goes but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that the like hour long was not that hard to swallow for anybody who enjoys it please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video